Do you see this little pouch of red liquid? While it looks unassuming, there's more to it than meets the eye. So stick around to see some of its secrets in this video. Have you seen one of these before? If not, what do you think it is? It's a pack full of this squishy red gel. It seems to be about room temperature. And inside, there's this little metal disc. What could that be? What happens if I press on it? Whoa, it's changing color, it's becoming firm, and it almost feels like it's getting warm. No, it's definitely getting warm. What happened? Here is this heating pad again with an infrared camera on the right. Heat produces a type of light that we can't see, infrared light. And these infrared or IR cameras take pictures of this type of light. So even though they don't take pictures of the heat directly, they allow us to see when something is warm. For this camera, things that are cooler look more blue, the middle is green, and hot things are red or white. Right now you can barely see the heating pad in the IR image because it is at the same temperature as the room and the table. But if I click that little disc to start the reaction again, you can see those colors spread through the pad. The background is now blue since the color scale shifted to accommodate the sudden heat of the pack. And you can even see the temperature rising in the top left corner, getting up to about 53 degrees Celsius, which is about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So what happened? Well, this is called an exothermic reaction in a supersaturated solution. Remember that piece of metal inside? Well, that little disc has a bunch of tiny holes in it, and when I clicked it, I didn't break it, it's still there and intact. But I forced some of the liquid molecules to travel through those holes and start to crystallize, generating heat. You can buy these heating pads to treat certain aches or pains. And one other really cool thing about it is that they're reusable. So even though it looks like the reaction that happened can't be undone, if I put this in boiling water for a couple minutes, it'll go back to just how it was right before we started. This heating pad works because of interactions between microscopic particles in the gel. There are tons of cool products that take advantage of different kinds of chemical reactions. Batteries, for example, use a reaction that produces electricity. Glow sticks use a reaction that produces light. And there are even cold packs that work similar to this, but instead of producing heat, they absorb it. Chemists are responsible for the development of these types of technology. And if you stick with your science and chemistry classes, you too could create a product that looks simple, but does something cool and unexpected.